Hello YouTube. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a graphic design tutorial. Okay, so but strictly file output. What we're gonna be talking about is how to create a PDF with Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so let's say you're a graphic designer or you're not a graphic designer but you'd like to export a PDF out of Illustrator with okay, okay. So let's say for instance a client wants to see some of my works. Okay, so I'm gonna import some of my logo logos now some designs I've done in the past I'll just place them in the illustrator and show you how to make them a PDF document so people can actually scan through pages of your designs and or even if you're a comic artist you have some drawings you like to export out as a PDF or as a book as an ebook let me put it that way so this is the trick so I'm gonna navigate back to my folder where I have my works is this in Illustrator? Just place this right there. Good. So I'll place another one. I'll just place like five of my designs and okay, that's all done. Okay, I've been put in I've placed all, all my logos that I'm willing to put in a PDF to show my client. So this is what I'm going to do. This images won't work as a PDF because we have just one artboard just now for now and artboards are just like pages in your PDF so to create artboards all you have to do is use the artboard tool right there so you can either you use um, the shift O command or you can just click it right here so I'll click it so yeah it shows immediately it just shows us we have one artboard in the scene and that's what was created by default when I created this scene so this one is already placed in an hardboard. You can see zero one hardboard one. So what I'll do next is I'll click on this one, just the edge one. The moment it highlights, I can I'll just do this. You can see by doing this, nothing happens. So okay, so let me just press control Z. Let me show you what I mean. So the moment it highlights this image, I just click, then it shows hardboard. So it doesn't matter how you arrange it, but what matters is the order by which you create the hardboards. So after this, if I want this to be my let's say I want this to be my next artboard I'll just go to the edge I'll click again I saw hardboard 3 then I'll do that for this one this next one okay this is artboard 5 then I'll move to this artboard 6 and lastly okay no 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 okay this is the sixth one so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so now we have all our hardboards created. So now you can see below here we have six hardboards, and that only means we have six pages. So I'll just click file to get this as a PDF. I'll just click file, save as, and I'll scroll down to PDF, and I can just name it um, my logos, my logos logo design whatever so I just as PDF and I'll save okay I've, I've chosen where I want to save it so now in the Adobe pre Adobe PDF preset just click the drop down and select smallest file you can use the high quality print if you want but I usually want my files to send qu um, quickly so the file the, the size won't be too large so I'll click this and I'll go into the compression tab and I'll just adjust some settings I'll set the image um, so you can see the color bitmap image. I'll set this to maximum because I'm showing images. So I'll set it to maximum. I'll scroll down as well. I'll do the same thing for this one. Although I don't have bitmap, I don't have um, grayscale here, but I have some monochrome files here. So I just click that, and after this, I'll just click. Um, you can also check set the compatibility here. You can switch this back, or you can just increase it, or send it from standard to PDF 2010. I don't really understand this part, but this is what I use basically. Don't get discouraged by this tab, it's filled up, but all you need to do is just adjust your image quality and you're good to go. So I just saved the PDF and now it brings a, a, a pop up saving documents, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. Of course, we want to do that. So, one did one this to so unchecked may be disabled, may disable some unchecked may disable some editing features when document is read back in so you want this continue yes 
so we want to be able to edit it when we come back to illustrator although that doesn't matter we just want to attribute this file so after that saved we have our documents saved right here so you can see it right here my logo design so I can just open it so you can see we have um, this is the first one we, we named so we can just switch to the next page you can switch to the next page you can see we have a PDF of our design you can just show you can use this to actually present our works quickly and that's how to create a PDF if you use a faster program or a program that makes it look better just put that down below in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to like and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel do that right now it's free I'm not gonna charge you for that so go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now and share this video with a friend or whoever take care I'll see you guys next time bye